good morning, guys. Penny Tear, how's it going? Uh, my traditional here on Fremont Street. And uh, you want to head down to White Castle? So uh, let's do it. We're over here at White Castle, going to head on inside and grab some food. All right, we are here downtown and uh, at the White Castle. Mostly everything's looking like it's $9.99 range, 10 bucks, so uh, not too bad for the combos. And uh, going to go for a breakfast combo, uh, get two sliders. Place my order, guys, so just waiting now for my number to be called. Um, just came o out over $10, so uh, not too bad for White Castle. First thing in the morning, and yeah. And then two of these egg thing jiggers. I had to get this because I always tease Cinnamon Girl about uh, not buying me White Castle. But uh, so she super chatted me five dollars. I guess I laid the guilt trip on too much, but uh, yeah, so appreciate you, Cinnamon Girl. Everyone follow Cinnamon on Twitter, check out her YouTube, so entertaining. Okay, so let's give this a go. Damn, that's good. I'm not even drunk or hungover, that's good. I would prefer these way over the McDonald's uh, breakfast sandwiches any day of the week. Breakfast was great. Still finishing off the White Castle here. But I'm back at the D and I got these two drink tickets that were dropped off to me from the sports book supervisor. Um, awesome stuff. So. I'm going to go get these drinks, and uh, yeah, then I gotta pack up, gotta head to uh, the Mirage later today. I still want to go over to Banger Brewing and grab an El Jefe. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time. I might have to do that on Sunday when I'm back down here to see Neon Vacation and Anasta 617, um, but we'll see. All right, guys, over here at Long Bar, going to use my uh, drink tickets and see what I can get. So let's go over here and take a seat. Over here at the long bar, so I get myself a Bloody Mary. And uh, uh, looks good. Oh, about to check out. I am on my final Budweiser out of the 18 pack, so it lasted me just over three days, pretty good. And going to drink this, and then I'm grabbing an Uber over to the Mirage. All right, it's been fun the D, but time to go to the Mirage. Okay, I'm out of here. The Uber was only $13 to get over here, and it only took a few minutes to get the Uber driver to pick me up, so really good. Now I'm checking in at the Mirage. Oh wow, look at this room, awesome. Good stuff. Final stay ever at the Mirage, this is gonna be absolutely brilliant. All right, guys, Penny's here, and I just arrived at the Mirage. There I am. Hey, guys. And got in right away. Awesome. There's a lamp, a painting. Um, did not have to wait at all. Showed the uh, gold card, and they got me in right away. Um, and then she uh, waived the no resort fees as well. So awesome. This is all booked through My Vegas. And this will probably be my last trip ever staying at the Mirage. So uh, let's take a look at our view. A pretty nice view. We don't have the volcano, but we do have the pool action. Over there, you kind of see the Rio. And uh, as I said, Caesar's Palace, 
the Colosseum. And over there we see the Link and Flamingo. Down farther is Paris. Planet Hollywood, which I will be moving to in just a few days. So, uh, actually a really awesome view, guys. I like it. And I've never been in this room before. Usually we're in the rooms where the bed is over there. But it's over here on this uh, um, room. So, got here, it was at 70. I took it right down to 65. I know there's a way to override it. I actually did a video on that. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, go back on my videos to remember how to override that to take it down to like 60. Okay, there's your phone. And we have HDMI jack right there, very cool. Um, lots of plugs, a lamp, um, and yeah, we got a couple glasses, a nice bucket, again, the bed, and uh, these switches for the uh, reading light, that's very cool, nice painting over there. I really, really like these rooms. I know people say they're dated. But I still think they're really cool. Now, going into the uh, bathroom is always the thing with these Mirage rooms. The bathrooms are so tiny, right? When Hard Rock takes over, it would be cool if they could maybe make the room a little smaller, but add on to the bathroom to increase the size of the bathroom because the bathroom is very, very small. And yeah, let's see where else. We need to uh, find the safe, which is usually located in the closet. And there you see it right there, beautiful. Hopefully I don't have issues with the safe not working. Um, and the fridge here, that's a fridge with stuff in it. You don't wanna to touch that. So I will get a uh, medical fridge delivered. Um, now the medical fridge, you're not gonna be able to put any alcohol or beer in there it's so tiny but i do need it for my insulin all right guys once again the view here at the mirage and we'll be back i'm in the room at 65 which isn't bad but i want to take it down even lower right so this is the tip so you hold in the display button and you hit the off auto button and then you hit the up button right that takes it to LEN mode. And now, watch the magic happen, guys. The air will go down to 60. And also, there's no issues with the sensors where if you leave the room, the air will turn off. So, this bad boy is set to 60. It's going to uh, walk across the street to Walgreens and uh, get some drinks for the room. Oh, well, that's cool, the rum bar, ultra lounge. It's like a bottle of beer is 10 bucks. I plan on checking this out later uh, this week. The rum bar. First thing I did once I got to uh, the Mirage was head on over to Walgreens and I got a 12 pack of beer and the Bud Light Clamato Chilada. And it came to, uh, let's see, where are we? 22.74. So uh, that's actually quite a bit more than it was even on Fremont Street. But as I was coming up, some guy came up to me and he's like, you're a smart man. You, uh, I just got a water from the room, $18. So there's that. I'm winded. Two trips to the ice machine, and uh, these beers are covered up. Should be good in a little bit.
we uh, turned 25 and free play through the Konomi app into $12. Pretty shit. Great timing, guys. Walking through uh, Arrows with my beer and seeing big helpless with land. So I'm going to stop here just for a little bit. All right, I have this on the agenda for tomorrow for lunch. The chicken wings here at Jersey Eats at the lake. We'll see. I'm over here at the interlude at the Cromwell. This is a great spot to sit to watch the shit show going into and out of the Dre's nightclub during the weekends. The current situation, guys, I'm over here at the Bellagio. I am taking a walk through Bellagio to get to the tram. I'm on my way, actually, to Aria, 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 to uh, hit up Poshburger. I had a buddy on Twitter send me uh, some money because he wanted me to try Poshburger. Shoutouts to Mike. So I'm doing that right now, heading there. And uh, I'll let you know how it is. Absolutely perfect timing, guys. I just got over here, and boom, there is the tram, the Aria Express. So I'm going to grab this and head over to the Crystal Shops, where I then can walk over to the Aria Casino, where I then can get my Posh Burger. Awesome stuff, guys. All right, so my buddy on Twitter, Mike, he wanted me to come over here. He said I needed to get a real good burger in Vegas. So uh, I'm here giving this a go. Um, I ordered the uh, chicken sandwich. So uh, let's see. All right, guys, over here at Posh Burger. We've got a burger. Looks like a chicken burger I got. Crispy chicken sandwich. They call them sandwiches, I guess, here in the States. Not burgers. But, uh, came to 2050. Not too bad. So I'm going to take into this, let you guys know how it is. I've already taken a few bites into this sandwich. And it's really, really good. You guys you know, looks awesome. Okay, this uh, chicken sandwich is very, very good. I didn't get the one with the hot sauce, but this flavor is outstanding on this chicken sandwich. Got myself a root beer. Look at the big piece of chicken on this thing. Like, that's massive. This sandwich is amazing. As I was saying before, at home we have, like, the KFC chicken sandwich. We have Popeyes. We have Mary Brown's. None of them are this good. This is a really good chicken sandwich. Chicken is fresh. Sometimes the KFC sandwich is very crispy, like too crispy, and this is excellent. Wrapping this up, still finishing the uh, sandwich. So good, guys. So good. Want to thank Mike from Twitter for uh, buying this for me. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks for supporting the channel. And yeah. The sandwich is awesome. That was really good at Posh Burger. This is new. I don't remember the uh, poker room being over this way when we were here in March. So, uh, yeah, definitely think that is new. Not sure when it happened. Let me know in the comments if you know. I'm over here at the entrance to uh, Paris. And the World Series of Poker is going on right now. And they got tons of branding. It's actually really cool to see the uh, WSOP arrive on the strip. 
All right, I decided to uh, wrap up this vlog by uh, taking a quick walk through the World, World Series of Poker Store. Um, I'm kind of scared to see how much these prices really are. Um, I was just over at Valley's, and I'm not really seeing a lot of changes in the uh, casino. I kind of was expecting, since they're moving the name to the Horseshoe and doing the Horseshoe brand, that I would see more stuff. Wow, look at these prices. Um, more Horseshoe-related stuff, but not a lot of uh, changes have taken place. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so, uh, wow. We're looking at nearly $50 for a ball cap, guys. $50 for a ball cap. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this vlog right here, guys. Appreciate everyone checking out the vlogs. And I'll see you next time.